but I'm such a fan that I took a picture. <laughs> I took a picture of this guitar to the hairdressers <laughs> and said, I want you to make my hair tungsten because I love John Mayer. My name is Joss. I am Mark. And welcome to the GAC Vault on GAC. What's it called? GAC Shop TV or something? <laughs> GAC Shop TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. What's it called? The GAC Show. Oh, the GAC Show. Not it's, GAC it's Shop TV. Whatever you want it to be. Uh, GAC. Um, welcome to the GAC Show. Um, we're in the vault room, uh, as we've as I've already stated. Yeah. Um, we're checking out a couple of guitars uh, that I am very, 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 very happy. I think most see. people are very happy about these. Yeah. So. Like, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Elmo. I haven't met anyone that isn't. Uh, I've met a couple of people that aren't well, into wrong. them, and I say, you know what, mate, you're wrong. So, as you just rightfully put. So yeah, this is the John Mayer signature PRS, the Silver Sky. Um, I believe Mark had already done something on the Silver Sky. I had a Sky, fiddle. A little fiddle, but I wanted to, I wanted to get them together and just wanted to talk about them, really. Yeah. Because uh, it's always a very, very exciting guitar. There's always a lot of chat about it. It's definitely died down now that we see him on stage with it all the time and everything. And it's do, just a Do you know what it is? It's like, I haven't played one of these in a, in a good four or five months. And I forget how good they are. Oh, man. They're so Whenever good. you pick them up, it's like playing butter. Yeah. Don't, I mean, it's not. It's like playing a guitar that's really good. <laughs> because if you were to play butter, you'd have it everywhere. <laughs> it's disgusting. But you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. So, take me through the specs. Specifications on the Silver Sky. Uh, we've got an older body. Yeah. Uh, we've got a uh, five-way selector switch. Indeed. Uh, two volumes, one tone. Master, fast, 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 tone. Uh, PRS's tremolo system. Uh, beautiful. Uh, maple neck. Bolt on, obviously, where it says Silver Sky John Mayer model. Yeah. Um, obviously, no... Uh, covering for the spring so it's easy and quick access to adjust. Is that because John likes it like that? I can only assume. Because it seems like a odd thing to do. I remember... To out a brand new guitar with no backplate. I think it's just, yeah, quick, quick access to, you know, get it done, get the job done. Um, and I think as well, um, did you, what was it? Was it Eric Johnson who said he doesn't have backplates because it changes the tone? Mm. Uh, maple neck, obviously, as I've just said. Rosewood fretboard, 20, how many? 22 frets. I just didn't want to count them. Do you know, it's a, lazy you know, it's almost like it's a, very similar to a Strat, hey? Well, that is the thing, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> is he right? <laughs> uh, obviously, that is controversial uh, talking point. When I mean, it's not even controversial, well, it was when is it? it came out. The only reason it's controversial is because it is what it's, it is. Yeah, and that John's known for playing Strat. Exactly, but um, 
Is, Both he, of you is went... he your best mate now, is he? <laughs> yeah. All right, John. Jay. Jay. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he basically went to PRS and went, I want a strat. Well, uh, you know, the, the thing about it is that, um, did you watch the YouTube video of him talking about the Silver Sky recently? No. So they released, I think it's like one of his first ever videos of him playing and talking about the Silver Sky as like a small demonstration. Mm. He's on stage and he plays through it and stuff and he talks you through the guitar itself. Yeah. Um, and he's very transparent about the fact that, you know, he's an S-type guitar player. That is his thing. Yeah. And the difference being, this is the, a an evolution. This is a modern representation of that S-type guitar. Um, the beautiful thing about it for me is Venny is very um, monochrom monochronic, monochromic, monochromic, <laughs> monochromic, or is it mono mono? What is the word? I don't know. <laughs> How do you say it? Monochromatic. Yes. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna cut some of that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> monochromatic. And because we have the, the we have the silver, the black, the white, and the red. Yeah, horizon. at the moment, at the moment, anyway. Because there's new ones. There's new colours coming out. So the, but we've the, all seen them. Yeah, but the thing for me on the guitar itself, um, it's a, it, as I said, it's an evolutionary state of the S-type guitar. It's a, and the whole thing about it is very, um, very iPhone-esque. Do you know what I mean? Like the evolution, the sleek sides, the the very, very glossy exterior um, in terms of like just how upmarket the guitar visually looks. It looks like... Years and years and years and years ago, in the 50s, if you were to give an alien a strat, this is what they would come back with. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like the highest level and evolutionary state of an S-type guitar. Yeah. And that's why I love it so much, because John, is, John Mayer sorry, is a very fashion-forward person as well. You know, you see him on GQ modelling kimonos. Yeah. But it's not just that. He's got some beautiful quotes as well. The quotes are very, very cool. He's very, you know, it's, it's very... Um, you know, it's a tip to the hat to that sort of scenario. And I really like the very, very small details on the guitar, such as the colour palette that he's gone through on the, on the first line, where in the dip, it's a different colour. So you see on yours? Ow. <laughs> I did, I've never noticed that. Well, you are a special boy. Just there, not on this one. No, nowhere else. They're literally in these little dips in there. That's um, a little. It's a really, really lovely touch, cheek. like on the red one and stuff. So this has got color. a silver bit. What's that yeah. got? This one's got like a sparkle finish in there, like so a white. Little, it's like okay, a slight so, pearlescent. So it goes a little finish. bit lighter in it. Yeah, um, and the red one does the exact same as well. Have the new like gold and green ones. See, that's it. the thing. I don't know. How exciting! Excite them. Do you know what I love about it? Is is it a seven and a half radius? It is. Yeah, seven point two five. So lovely to play. Well, the difference is like people. Butter. But the thing is, but the thing is, um, olive oil. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. The thing is with it is that people go seven point two five. It's going to be unplayable. I mean, like people were worried about it choking out because it's got seven point two five radius. Of unplayable. It's definitely not going to choke out. And what's the opposite of unplayable? Playable. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, these are the uh, PRS635 John Mayer single coil pickups mm -hmm. uh, that they developed together. Um, old, still, uh, go on. Uh, an old what? Paul. <laughs> not old Paul. Old Paul. Although he's probably, you know, that's not. Yeah. Don't let him hear you say this because Paul Reed Smith is likely to be the guy that hears you say that and travel all the way to England <laughs> to tell you you're wrong. All right. I wasn't thinking he was old. It was a term of endearment. All right. As in like, oh, oh Paul. Oh, Paul. Paul and John. <laughs> <laughs> Your best mates. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the neck pickup on this caffeine. bad boy. <laughs> Touching a gentleman's switch. I assume that playing. I assume that one is is neck. Yes. Two is. Well, this is this one, right? This is is that vibe, right? Don't do that. 
Very, the pickups are very, very hi-fi sounding. Um, it sounds very clear and very articulate. As you'd expect from an iPhone guitar. Yes, an iPhone guitar. Clear and articulate. Four, 4G. I don't want to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of drive, you absolute knob! <laughs> I'll use the other pedal because we sell that. You're using the uh, Dual Fusion Wampler. The Wampler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Tom Quail signature. Quail eggs for breakfast. Incredible. That pedal is incredible. We've used that a lot today. I've used it a lot today. Well, you've got it on your board. I've got it on my board. It's, it is a beast. It is a beast. But the thing is with it, that, you know, I mean, it's that though, it's... <laughs> it makes that just do that thing, mm. which is that John Mayer thing, you know. The only thing, my only issue with this guitar, my only one thing that I would knock, is I just don't like a PRS headstock. Okay. And I don't mean that as in I don't like PRS, I just don't like the shape of the headstock. Do you not like it and more it. reversed? I just don't like it. You don't like it? But that, I mean, that's neither here nor there. No. Nope. It's a great guitar. That's over in an alternate reality. It's a, just a bloody good guitar. It is, at the end of the day. And you were saying um, that they, that they're hardly ever here. They sell like hotcakes. Well, that's the thing. Well, they don't sell like hotcakes um, because hotcakes are in a bakery <laughs> and uh, this is a guitar shop, Mark. Um, so they sell like PRS guitars. Um, the, the Paul Reed Smith, John Mayer signature model. But yeah, no, basically, um, it's hard to keep them in stock. So the reason why I wanted to do a little thing on them, uh, just a tiny little thing, uh, was because we rarely have them in stock. And I just wanted to, I wanted to get them on video. And, and you're into the silver one. I'm into the silver. Now, some people say, Joss, why did you change your hair color to the color that you've gone for? And I said, it's not because I wanted to be the silver fox of the shop. It's not because I wanted to be the only attractive one. It's because this Onyx guitar was too dark and I'm such a massive John Mayer fan and Silver Sky PRS guitar fan. I don't even own one yet and I really want one and I'm going to get one. But I'm such a fan that I took a picture. <laughs> I took a picture of this guitar to the hairdressers <laughs> and said, I want you to make my hair tungsten because I love John Mayer. And look, oh my God, look how almost spot on that is. Yeah. 
He's touched my face. <laughs> so your, your hair is Silver Sky? Yeah, so my hair... Tungsten Silver Sky. Is Tungsten, the finished Tungsten, on the John Mayer Silver Sky. John Mayer, I love you. I'll see you at the show, geez. <laughs> <laughs> on that note... On that note. We've both got guitars that match our hair. Yeah, I actually did take a photo of the Tungsten PRS Silver Sky in and said... And Tom's oh. soon going off to dye his hair maroon. Is he? Yeah, to match the horizon. Maroon 5? No, and then he'll have the red one. Andy Sandberg. <laughs> That's not him, is it? Stop saying stuff. What's his name? James Adam Valentine. Levine. <laughs> Andy Sandberg. Valentine. I'm talking about the sexy singer. Clapton. All right, here we go. Clapton! Joe Bonamassa! Cora Delevingne! Oh, like way too much Anyway, coffee. let's finish this let's up because I need some food. Let's have a little jam. Oh, okay. <laughs> now? All right, yeah, my name is Joss. I'm Mark. And thank you for watching this um, ridiculous episode of uh, uh, John Mayer Appreciation Day at GAC. And I'm going to jam some chords that are like John Mayer, but not too much like John Mayer because we we'll get flagged up. Yeah, we can't monetize video because of Article 13. Art Article 13 is passed. I'm so sorry for everybody that does cover videos. Anyway, cool. Yeah, my name is Joss. Mark. This is the second time, but see you later. Mm -hmm.